What are we looking for? We're looking for the best that it can be done. See, when you follow a master, a master's already been through all that. They already tried this, tried that. So that person, instead of doing their best, which may or may not be enough, what you have to do is you have to create the best system, the best that it can be done. And then you train people to follow that system. That's what systems are all about. All right. Now, here's what happens. And you guys are probably seeing a lot of uh, business owners like this. Maybe some of you have suffered from the entrepreneurial seizure yourself. Okay. Here's how it happens. You uh, just do what comes naturally. You have an idea and I have this gift and you go out and do it. And you have all these expectations that everything's going to happen. But what happens is there's this ceiling of achievement that you're not aware of, that you're not expecting, and you're dis disappointed. So then what happens is you say, well, I'm not going to try that, that procedure or do that business or whatever. You, get, you, uh, you start resigning yourself from that and say, well, maybe that's not a great idea. Let me go to greener pastures, try something else, do, start another business or whatever the case is, and then the cycle continues. What you want instead is what, uh, what um, Gary Keller calls the purposeful approach. And that is doing what comes unnaturally. All right, everybody uh, put your hands together and cross your thumbs right now. Okay, how many of you have your right thumb over your left thumb? Okay, that's it. Ooh, we're in trouble. Okay, uh, how many of you have your left thumb over your right thumb? How many of you aren't going to do this exercise no matter what I ask you? Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to reverse your thumbs. Like you, you can't even hardly do it. Not weird. The person sitting next to you is weird. All right, do it again. Cross your thumbs naturally. This is where you're comfortable. What if that's not the right way? What if you can't get there from here? Would it be worth learning how to be comfortable, being uncomfortable doing this? That's the point here.